And now moving on to our keynote addresses. Up first, we have Ms. Michelin Salata, Deputy Chair of Council, Asia Indigenous Youth Platform, and Chair of Barisam Pamuda, Adat Nusanantara, to share her keynote address. Michelin, over to you. Thank you so much. Um, hello, everyone. Before I start, I would like to start with an, one of the indigenous greetings in Indonesia. Adil Catalino, Bacuramin Kasaruga, Basengat Kajubata. Arus, arus, arus. So this greeting is coming from a Dayak indigenous community in Kalimantan, where currently now they are facing deforestation and also land grabbing in their territories. And there we have so many indigenous youth fighting for their forests, reclaiming their lands, and also um, act locally from their grassroots. And I'm really uh, grateful to be invited to share with all of you. I am Micheline Salata. I am a part of Asia Indigenous Youth Platform and also a chair of Barisan Pemuda Adat Nusantara, or in English, the Indigenous Youth Front of the Archipelago in Indonesia. So, um, a little bit about you is that youth and climate resilience. As we already heard from our previous speakers that the youth are the most affected and it is the truth. Especially the indigenous youth in previous years, we face a lot of uh, discriminations and also a lot of uh, oppressions inside our indigenous countries. We didn't have the same opportunity like all of you to voice out our voices and to even share our thoughts about how climate change has affected us. And as an indigenous, we did also a lot of climate change from our side at our end. For example, like forest guardianships where we are standing in our forest to stop um, companies and also invest investors coming to our territories and also to build power plantations, um, oil palm plantations, and many more that give a very strong threat to our, towards our existence. And currently indigenous youth also do a lot of um, activities like digital and paper-based documentations. They are trained to be ready to document all of the things inside the forest, to document all of the traditional herbals traditional medicines inside the forest because indigenous people don't go to hospitals. We are not going to the clinics if we are sick, but we depend on our nature and so do you. And also we are participating in forums just like this. We are given the change. We are given the platform to speak on behalf of the indigenous youth and also changing in daily habits. As climate change affected us, many of our habits have to shift as well. For example, in our work, most of us enjoy walking in previous years, but now we are depending on motorcycles and cars, which contribute to the increase of our emissions. And this, we want to reverse to go back to our natural resources and to go back to our natural ways of living in order to live uh, together with indigenous peoples and fight together alongside them. Should indigenous um, youth involved? I believe that all of us are a part of indigenous worlds and we are the future leaders of our community. If our elders and our ancestors have passed their time, then it is our time to continue their struggle, to continue what they have done best and good practices that they have done in their community. And also because we have a traditional worldview, but we also live in a modern society. We are the bridge of two worlds, the indigenous ancestors and also with the modern world that we are living right now. In AIYP, um, we are equipped to, to become resilient towards our um, the uh, challenge of climate change and to be sensible towards the community-based solution that we can find inside our indigenous communities. There is so many knowledges that we can integrate with what we learn in GCAP. For example, like I am, like me, I'm a part of the indigenous uh, youth um, fellow of GCAP. And from there, I can exchange knowledges and also I can localize what I have learned from GCAP 
can do is share with my fellow indigenous youth inside the community who have less access of internet or access to have the same platform like us right now. We involve more than 8,000 youth, especially indigenous youth, standing for climate justice. In 2022, we declared that climate justice is also a pivotal issue to be addressed in indigenous peoples in Indonesia. We do documentations, we invent and create songs, poems, and we utilize our website to write about our stories coming from our grassroots levels. We are not only telling you about sad stories that indigenous peoples are facing, but practices and how we progress from our grassroots. And also we do a lot of youth camps, which is fun. And there we share our knowledges from what we learn from YCAP and also to localize the climate change knowledge that we already learned. Apart from that, we also have some of our indigenous youth who have passion in filmmaking and then homecoming movement, where we invite the indigenous youth who already left territories to go back home and to take care of their territories. We are that in the last batch, the indigenous youth are involved and we are given that platform which provide inclusivity towards indigenous voices to be heard in climate change platforms. And so we can see now the solutions are coming from the indigenous peoples. And let us give more spaces to indigenous youth to also participate in higher platforms like COP or even like climate change meetings. And from YCAP as well, we have the chance to exchange our ideas on possible collaborations with other IPUs coming from different regions and countries. We have the same struggle, but we have different ways to cope up and deal with our problems coming from our indigenous communities. And lastly, I would like to be thankful for the uh, YCAP and also um, Movers program because it helped us to localize climate knowledge in order for the indigenous people to be more involved and understand what climate change is. Sometimes they don't have the resources in order to understand what climate change is as simple as the change and shift of our harvesting schedule. And this is why we want to involve more uh, with all of you in this platform, and then we can change this world into a better place. You can learn more about us um, and we can share and collaborate more. You can find Asia Indigenous Youth Platform and Barisan Pemuda Adat Nusantara in every social media platform in Facebook, Instagram, and also a Twitter in order to hurt our stories from the ground. So that would be all for me. Which means thank you in my native Toraja language. Thank you so much, Micheline, uh, for your presentation, for sharing your experience, not only as an Indigenous YECAP fellow, um, but as someone who's very passionate um, and curating an Asian Indigenous youth platform um, for your community. Thank you.